Darjeeling is a town and municipality in the northernmost region of the Indian state of West Bengal. One of the jewels of Indian Himalayas, famous for its toy train, beautiful mountainside green valleys, view of Kanchenjunga, the world's third highest mountain, and the most loved Darjeeling tea around the world. Hope you had an opportunity to watch our video on the Darjeeling Himalayan Rail, the toy train. This is our short video on exploring surroundings of Darjeeling during our two-day visit in February 2020, covering an extremely lucky and amazingly beautiful view of Kanchanjunga, a visit to Darjeeling Zoo, Happy Valley Tea Garden, walking around Darjeeling Mall, visit to Tibetan Refugee Self-Help Center, Peace Pagoda before visiting Mokaibari Tea Estate on our return to New Jalpaiguri. We took a short flight from Kolkata to New Jalpaiguri. It was a 50-minute flight before taking a private car to travel to Darjeeling by road and for the entire visit over the next two days. We pre-booked from Australia and so everything was planned before we arrived. Soon after we started our journey, we saw some working ladies at a roadside tea garden preparing the gardens for the upcoming tea growing season which starts normally from April. Road conditions were poor, so we had a bumpy ride all the way to Mirik Lake, as we wanted to visit Mirik Lake and take the more winding road up the mountain valleys to Darjeeling. It was a four hours journey, a beautiful drive, a beautiful memorable drive. Our driver was driving nicely, so it was most enjoyable while taking some short videos through the windows. While crossing the Mohananda River, mostly dry during the winter months, we saw an Indian Border Security Force base camp. Soon we started to climb through the winding roads towards Mirik Lake, with a couple of stopovers to take some photos. At Merrick Lake, we met many local people. Children were playing at the lakeside park. There were shops selling local items. It was getting dark as winter, so we spent half an hour before continuing our journey. The next part of the journey was truly mesmerizing, a journey through the clouds, a very winding road through the mixture of early evening fog and the low-level clouds. My words couldn't do any justice to the true beauty of this eastern part of the Himalayan India. So please enjoy this ride through the clouds just with music. After a couple of hours, we arrived in Darjeeling. It was not so cloudy up the hill at Darjeeling. We stayed at the Elgin Hotel for a couple of nights. Over 125 years old and once the summer residence of the Maharaja, King of Koch Bihar. The Elgin Darjeeling is now a luxury heritage hotel in Darjeeling. This spa hotel in Darjeeling is situated in the heart of Darjeeling town, 6,000 feet up in the Himalayas a celebration of elegance and grace of the colonial era in the Queen of Hill Stations. Located in the majestic Himalayan ranges, the Elgin Hotel and Resort in Darjeeling is very much a part of Darjeeling's colonial history. The building of the Elgin Hotel and Resort in Darjeeling was originally built in the year of 1887, around a beautiful garden and designed as a manor house. That evening we went for a walk at Darjeeling's famous mall, it was mostly empty, as it was cold, 
nearing zero degree at night. The settings of Elgin Hotel and the very cold evening reminded us of our 12 years in England. We called it a day, as our plan was to visit Tiger Hill early next morning, the highest peak of Darjeeling, apparently the best viewing point for Kanchanjunga at sunrise. But the next morning was very cloudy, as expected in January-February winter time. There were hundreds of people at Tiger Hill, but we couldn't get any view of Kanchanjunga from the top. Well, that's where the disappointment ended. On our way back down, suddenly the top part of Kanchanjunga became visible in golden colors through the clouds. Soon our driver stopped at a corner of a blocked road as we couldn't waste any moment to miss the opportunity. This was our moment. Watching the passing clouds and gradually peak of Kanchanjunga were well and truly visible. October to November could be the best time to watch the whole Himalayan range anywhere from Darjeeling. But we were so happy, felt a bit lucky, as this was almost unexpected in early February. With a staggering 8,586 meter, Kanchanjunga, world's third highest peak, was truly beautiful. We came back to Elgin for our grand breakfast, freshly cooked for us, accompanied with freshly brewed Darjeeling tea. It was a great and appetizing conclusion of the first morning in Darjeeling. View of Darjeeling valleys and hills were truly spectacular from our hotel. Clouds were trying to cover the hills. The scenery was so pretty. Our day was planned to visit Happy Valley Tea Garden, a tea garden very close to Darjeeling, just to have a walk in and around a tea garden, take some photos while spending a bit of time at a tea garden. It was truly spectacular. More than 150 years ago, in the British India, experimentation with growing tea on the slopes below Darjeeling was highly successful so started the massive high-quality tea industries of Darjeeling, the tea that we all drink and enjoy daily around the world. Next, we briefly visited Tenzing Rock, a huge rock named after Tenzing Norge, who was famous for climbing the Mount Everest accompanied by Edmund Hillary in the year of 1953. It was learned that Tenzing himself used to practice climbing on this rock. Afterwards, we came back to Darjeeling town center. It was a bit sunny by then, spent a couple of hours at the Darjeeling Mall, walking around and eating at the famous Glenary's Terrace, at the famous Caventers, before trying some chicken momo and Tibetan tea made with butter at a local shop, before ending our day one in Darjeeling. Next morning, due to five and a half hours time difference with Australia, we woke up very early and went for a morning walk along the road up the hill behind our Elgin Hotel. Architecture of the some of the old building from the British India time was interesting. There were a couple of hard-working local people we met. Individually, they were carrying 50 bricks at once.
Our second day was planned to start at the Darjeeling Himalayan Zoo. At the zoo, we met famous Himalayan red pandas. They were giving us a running show. Truly, money can't buy these tickets. Amazingly beautiful natural show. You can pause the video and read the little detail inset photo that I put about these red pandas if you're interested. There was a monkey family, while the little one was learning how to pull mommy's tail to balance on a tree. Looked like this was a really family gathering and a happy family weekend time. There was a squirrel running around, very hard to track and video a running squirrel. There was a beautiful black panther walking around impatiently, probably very hungry. The red pandas, the monkey family, the running squirrel, the black panther and some very colorful birds at the sanctuary were truly a great collection at this historic Himalayan zoological garden. From the zoo, we briefly visited Himalayan Mountaineering Institute. Overall, it was a three hours walking around the garden, most enjoyable and relaxing. There were a couple of other sites we visited on that day, Tibetan Refugee Self-Help Center and the Peace Pagoda. In between them, we also took a train ride, a ride on the famous Darjeeling toy train from Darjeeling to Goom. We covered that memorable journey in a separate video. Hope you have watched our early video. Tibetan Refugee Self-Help Center in Darjeeling is a rehabilitation center for the Tibetan refugees in Darjeeling Himalayan Hill region. It was established on 2nd October 1959 after they followed Dalai Lama and escaped from Tibet. The production of Tibetan handicrafts is the center's main activity. We pictured a couple of famous photos at the center. A picture of West Bengal's former and longest serving Chief Minister Jyoti Basu and another one covering Indian former Prime Minister Indira Gandhi with then West Bengal's Chief Minister Siddhartha Shankar Ray visiting this centre. It was interesting to see those photos from all those years ago. Look at this guy, hanging at the back of the car and carrying goods. Probably a standard practice and a bravery on a daily basis. During our toy train tour, we did spend some time at Batashia Loop. Stop at the Batashia Loop was mesmerizing, with passing clouds on a cold afternoon, it was very refreshing. Visited a nearby monastery and experienced a passing toy train in thick fog while getting cold dust all over our jackets.
Japanese Peace Pagoda Darjeeling's Peace Pagoda is one of the Peace Pagodas designed to provide a focus for people of all races and creeds to help unite them in their search for world peace. It was a nice environment while it was a cold afternoon, so people were burning woods. The Peace Pagoda, the White Peace Pagoda was beautiful. We had a very nice experience walking around the pagoda. In that evening, we explored a bit of interiors of Elgin Hotel. We found a couple of photos hanging on the wall, depicting Tenzing Norge and Edmund Hillary at the Himalayan base camp, while the other one, Tenzing Norge meeting Queen Elizabeth II in London. Next morning was our return day to Kolkata. We took a shorter way back to New Jalpaiguri before visiting famous Mokaibari tea estate. On our way back from Darjeeling, we met another toy train passing by. At Mokaibari tea estate, we had a bit of a tour of the tea processing plant and a few stopovers along the way to explore tea gardens closely. So friends, this was our packed but relaxing tour of Darjeeling. From our flight on road to Kolkata, the whole Himalayan range including Kanchenjunga was clearly visible over the clouds. It was pretty spectacular. Flying over Kolkata before landing was exciting too. Kolkata where we were born and grew up, but never had the chance to visit Darjeeling in the last 40 years. This was our chance and we truly enjoyed Darjeeling. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and subscribing to our YouTube channel. Goodbye until the next video.